look at that massive snail. He's packing some serious S cargo, am I right? Jokes aside, this snail caused an entire county in Florida to go under quarantine. The African land snail is an invasive species with a voracious appetite that wreaks havoc on any ecosystem they live in. Not only that, some host the parasite responsible for rat lungworm disease, which can lead to meningitis. Touching the snail or eating produce contaminated with its juices can lead you to contracting it. Florida's Pasco County has issued a quarantine of sorts to help combat its ongoing snail problem. No plant material or vegetation can cross county lines in hopes of controlling and containing the snail population. They've also set out a type of bait that traps the snails and dehydrates them. In one month, they've successfully killed a thousand snails. If infected with rat lungworm disease and the variation of meningitis it can cause, you can suffer from muscle aches, fever, and even permanent brain or spinal cord damage. In many cases, though, you'd likely pull through. In 1993, a young boy contracted the parasite after eating a snail on a dare. He suffered from symptoms for a few weeks before making a full recovery. After learning that lesson, escargot is definitely off the menu. This is the worst lunch I ever had. While this snail is native to Kenya, Mozambique, and other parts of the African continent, you could say that they've become global citizens. You can now find this snail on every continent in the world. From Australia to Asia, and even on the Caribbean islands, they're absolutely everywhere. The only place lacking a land snail population is Antarctica. They don't make a coat big enough to fit around that shell. Scientists have yet to nail down a theory as to how they've traveled around the world. It could be on cargo ships or because of careless pet owners setting their snails free. These snails are successful because they eat everything, literally. Like they will eat the plaster off buildings and have been seen chowing down on stucco. Their taste spans 500 different plant species, including vegetables like cauliflower, carrots, and lettuce. They also need a lot of calcium to maintain shell health. They eat sand, stones, and will even nibble on the bones of carcasses to ensure they're getting a sufficient source of the stuff. Sounds delicious. Yummers. I mean, that shell is impressive. A healthy snail is about 20 centimeters long and 10 centimeters tall, definitely big enough to block the sidewalk on a rainy day. Is it ruffian? Thoughts? Another reason why giant African snails are so pervasive is their mating habits. They're hermaphroditic, meaning they have both male and female sex organs. In theory, they could reproduce on their own, but the snails do enjoy a little romance and tend to mate with each other. It's less lonely that way. The snails can produce between 100 and 500 fertilized eggs every two to three months. And with no natural predator, it's easy to see how ecosystems quickly become overrun. The speed at which this species can take over an environment is far from snail paste. Do you want to meet a snail that lives under the sea? What if I told you that it's the most venomous animal in the world? Check out the cone snail in this video. They make the giant African land snail look friendly. Eating literally everything and carrying infectious parasites are what these snails do. And that's what makes them crazy creatures. <laughs> <laughs>